Hi, this is Jogesh from Coding Factory. In this video, I am going to start with the .NET architecture introduction of module one .NET Basic, and the topic which I am going to discuss are what is the console, window, and web-based application terms like C# .NET, Web .NET, and ASP .NET, and why .NET coming in the market. Let's discuss about .NET architecture. A .NET is not an application; it's not a language. It's a technology developed by Microsoft, and using this technology, we can create a number of applications. The applications can be console-based application, window-based application, and web-based application. Let's understand what is the meaning of console-based application. The console-based application means what? We are getting the output in the form of black screen. It is same like your DOS prompt output. This output doesn't contain any user interface, no checkbox, no text box. It's a pure black screen output. Window application means it's a standalone application. It's a machine to machine application. Means you have to install your software on that particular machine. And the web application means what? Here we are creating a dynamic websites. So ASP.NET will allow you to create a dynamic website. Let's start with when to use console, window, and web-based application. The console-based application used in socket programming. A socket programming means what? It's a machine-to-machine -machine communication. Basically, in .NET, if there is a requirement like doing a socket programming then they will go for console based application because it's not containing any user interface let's start with the one example for window based application and web based application there is a one bank called xyz bank they come and say create one banking ka software for me the requirement is like this a bank having only one branch and one branch having only one pc so here i go for window based application I create one software called xyzbank.exe. I install my software on that particular machine and my software running fine. Now my target is also achieved. After some time, bank requirement get changed. Now bank having a 10 branch and 10 branch having a 10 machine each and locations are also different. So in this case, I have a 100 machines. It is not possible for me to install my xyzbank.exe everywhere. So here I go for ASP.NET website. I create one website called xyzbank.com. So all the hundred machine user using their browser and just typing a URL http colon slash slash xyzbank.com. So here my requirement get achieved. If I change something, then I just change into my xyzbank.com server. So if the number of client is less, then go for window based application. And if the number of client is more, then go for web based application. So console based application is used for socket programming. Window based application used for a standalone application and web based application used for creating dynamic websites. Let's move back to our architecture. As I said, .NET is a technology and using this technology we can create a number of applications like console, window and web. We already discussed about what is a console and what is a window and web. Now .NET also support a number of languages like C Sharp, VB, JScript. Now, many students are confused. What is the csharp.net? What is the vp.net? What is the asp.net? So, first of all, just clear this. If I choose console or a window as an application, and if I choose C# -sharp as a language, then it is become a C# -sharp .net. If I choose console or a window as an application and VB as a language then it's become a VB.NET if I choose web as a application and C Sharp as a language 
so it's become a ASP.NET in C Sharp. If I choose web as an application and VB as a language, then it's become a ASP.NET in VB. So depending on your application, we have to just change the languages. Understand the difference between the technology, applications and language. The languages means C, C++, C Sharp, VB. The applications mean console, window, web, mobile. And the technologies means .NET, Java, Oracle. So don't confuse between these three. We already discussed .NET is a technology. Now let's discuss about why .NET come in the market. In 99, there were a VB 6.0 and ASP. This is a application of Microsoft. VB 6.0 is specifically for window based application and ASP is for web based application. There was a Java. A Java is again a technology of Sun. There were a heavy competition between VP 6.0, ASP and Java. Because of Java, a market of VP 6.0 and ASP were continuously down. That's why Microsoft released a first version of .NET in 99 called a beta version. After that, they are releasing 1.0, 1.1. 2.0, 3.0, 3.5 and recently they are releasing 4.0. This is we are calling a .NET frameworks or .NET versions. Watch my next video regarding CLR and garbage collector of .NET architecture. Thank you for now.